All right, cool. What are you doing this week? Well, Gary, um, something that has been passed down in my family is a little bit of wisdom. Okay. Okay. The best popcorn comes stale in a box. That's Ooh. right. I have gotten a bunch of uh, Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jacks? Surplus Cracker Jacks, baby. Baseball season's yeah, canceled. They've been they've been cranking these things out. Um, mm -hmm. This, I believe, is from about 15 years ago. But I figure we can oh. pop one of these bad boys open. <laughs> it seems um, like they could have given it to us from last year when there was baseball. Uh, I mean, so it's kind of like whiskey. You got to age these bad boys. You know? Uh, okay. Usually, usually I prefer an 18-year Cracker Jack. Um, yeah, that was a good year, man. Yeah. <laughs> 2002. Um, <laughs> so. Good year for Cracker Jack. I like 2001 Cracker Jacks when we were a more innocent nation. <laughs> um, the... Uh, yeah, I uh, I always want Cracker Jacks to be better than they are. And then as, as I got older, I was like, oh, I just really want the peanuts. That's the thing. These like little candied peanuts, like this, mm -hmm. this caramel popcorn. Like I don't turn my nose up at a caramel popcorn, but I don't think that's a good caramel popcorn. No, and no. And the prize it, now is all like temporary tattoos and shit. So like, it's always just give flat, me like yeah. the four peanuts that are in there. Mm -hmm. Toss the box away. Yeah, just uh, just 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 buy me some peanuts, not Cracker Jacks. That's redundant. Please <laughs> buy me some peanuts and peanuts as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Just go to hell. <laughs> but but like that's the only reason Cracker Jacks are around is because because it's immortalized in that song. Yeah, that's some good fucking job yeah. security there. It's a weird thing that there's a song about baseball that includes several commercials, <laughs> like <laughs> in the middle but, of it. Buy me some peanuts and a uh, new Acura. Ford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah but i figured um, we would pop um oh i got one from um okay so this is extra special reserve i've got from, i've got one from 1991 let's pop one of these bad boys ooh, open and see what uh you're your see boy. what's inside <laughs> yep i am baby <laughs> uh, you know what i i that, like that comment was predicated on the idea that being born in the 90s makes you super young uh no, no no it does <laughs> actually it certainly does um the, uh, so Let's open up this uh, this pile of steel garbage. Yeah, uh, don't be afraid if there's millipedes. That's just uh, we could we, we call those flavor That's ropes. Flavor. That's pr yeah. protein. Yeah, protein. Strands. Um, okay, uh, it's all one big brick, but there's a mm -hmm. temporary tattoo in here. And it's drowning slowly. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, it's a temporary <laughs> tattoo that says Base Wars. Oh, you mean from the Cyber Stadium series? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. No Super Baseball 2020, I'll tell you that. Well, yeah, very, yeah. very little is, but it's it's on it's on it's on the road. It's on, you know. I'm I'm a real. Uh, it is on the road. This 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 walked so baseball, Super Baseball 2020, <laughs> of course, could run. Yeah. Uh, my name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross, and you're listening to Abject Suffering. The Grinches around here are extra goopy. <laughs> um, and this week we're talking about the crack of the bat. The bots yep. of the summer. The boys of summer. <laughs> yep. The boys, the bots of summer are back, baby. All four types. <laughs> so, we, uh, <laughs> we got motorcycle. <laughs> that's unfair. He's got a cannon for an arm. Yeah, and that's not just a way to compliment a, 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 a pitcher. No, it's actually, he's got a cannon for an arm. Uh, so this yeah, was a patron. Did, yeah. <laughs> this is a patron demand, uh, by, by, by Mark. who says it's like baseball plus the surge. I think. My boss love this, loves this game, but honestly, I can't figure out how to get my outfielder boss to catch the ball. Yeah, I, I had a similar problem mm -hmm. uh, with that. Uh, let's throw that disclaimer that we had in the last one. Uh, tired and, and don't feel good. Yes. So this is giving a weird energy warning on this abduct suffering. That doesn't mm -hmm. tend to make bad abduct sufferings. No. Uh, it, in it, fact, it probably makes good ones. <laughs> but yeah, but, not, neither of us have been sleeping well. And I, I, I can I can only speak for myself. I'm having just, just nightmarish um, stomach problems. So The guts of summer. Mm. The crack of the bat. <laughs> um, the, the crack of the, the, the porcelain. <laughs> the guts of summer. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a little intense cracking the porcelain, but okay. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of shit, dude. Yeah. Um, can I, uh, real quick, 
because here, here's what that warning uh, gives, and it's a warning for you as well, Cole. Okay, is that I'm going to jump all over. All right, here because if I stop, I'll die. Okay, it's it's one of those kind of things. Yes, you know, you know, you never realize so, how tired you are until you sit down. Yes, exactly. So if I stop, I'll die. Um, the description of this on GameFAQs, <laughs> which is not something we usually read on the home tab, right? Uh, but root, root, root for the home tab uh, of GameFAQs uh, is pretty wild. <laughs> um, it begins with here. Uh, it begins with this. 23.4 billion a year for a 0. 0.250 hitter. Baseball salaries in the 24th century have skyrocketed through the ozone. Mm. And team owners are rebelling. <laughs> They've replaced these greedy players with mighty robots programmed for punishment. <laughs> the result is base wars. A bizarre <laughs> cross between baseball and gladiatorial combat. Its heroes are an awesome array of mutant machines, metallic monsters resembling man, half-ton tanks, and unidentified fielding objects. <laughs> <laughs> but forget about good sportsmanship in the Cyber League, because in Base Wars, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. <laughs> and these mega-horsepower sultans of SWAT <laughs> are armed to the circuits with enough laser swords, guns, and ammunition to spark an interplanetary war. All the elements of baseball are here, pitching, hitting, fielding and base running plus a brutal bonus one-on-one -on -one battle royales for base possession hey a one-on-one -on -one can't be a battle royale <laughs> yeah yeah these these uh cybernetics these mega horsepower sultans of swat uh, <laughs> just, i don't know there's just a lot of verbiage in that that i kind of like yeah also a 0 0.250 hitter would be like a legendary player so maybe pay him yeah. the 23.4 billion it's also the 24th century well it's the 24th yeah, the century 24th. of infl inflation keeps going <laughs> I, I have a hard time believing that replacing the players with these battle tanks is actually cheaper right i you know you've got you've got upkeep that's just uh, yeah yeah well but, and uh front keep well yeah like just a, being an incredibly expensive uh tank mm -hmm. you know a gigantic megaton cannon tank yeah but it's, it's an a... identified fielding object or UFO. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is how you solve a labor dispute <laughs> you just say i can automate you, you away bring in the scab bots <laughs> <laughs> this is this is mostly a game about labor yeah <laughs> um and automation you know autonomization and like mm -hmm. labor rights and stuff yeah um i was yeah. about to do like a like oh it'll, it'll be like a john brown thing but that's definitely not the guy <laughs> john brown was the abolitionist uh who blew up a bunch of uh slaveholder places uh what who, are you actually referring to i'm right? actually referring to so it's the idea of like the lumberjack who went up against the logging machine and died oh sure john uh, henry uh, john henry there we go i've had john brown on yeah. the mind um probably doesn't mean does probably doesn't mean anything about a about you know current events going on um john it's not really john henry too i if anybody corrected me on that i was gonna lose my mind and, <laughs> I'm, I'm, no mood and and in my mind i was just like oh it happened right now during episode okay like someone tapped me on the shoulder and was like it's not john henry and i was like i fucking know it's a joke uh and then yeah. <laughs> but that's not how time works like they yeah. would have left a comment it would have been weeks after i've been like oh i don't even remember saying any of that yeah no i don't have a and i'm doing a search for a lumberjack contest against machine um mm -hmm. but I, but now i've got is like the paul bunyan lumberjack show uh because of course there are like lumberjack uh competitions yeah which would well, named after paul bunyan because like name a more famous lumberjack i'll wait you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like name a more iconic lumberjack <laughs> uh it is uh, wait I, th I think it is john henry oh that's it john henry is a steel driving man yeah he fought a train did he also fight a a tree uh let's see here video games john henry was a fictional i I'm don't see that i don't know <laughs> yeah like guy hates all kinds of shit <laughs> i've got i've got no idea i will, I will continue doing research <laughs> mm. yeah, just we'll find out by the end of the episode yep not a guarantee mm. Um, let's see here. Legend. According to legend, John Henry's prowess as a steel driver was measured in a race against a steam powered rock drilling machine. Okay. So like it wasn't a lumberjack thing. I was, I just, I confused. You confused Dr the legend. Yes. I confused the legends. So you, you confuse caves with trees yeah. as one does. But what I, but what I want is for the, like the, like the Super Bowl of this, mm -hmm. uh, for the Super Bowl of baseball, which is the world series because fuck my brain. Um, <laughs> uh, what I want is for the robots to go up against humans at the end hmm. and for the humans to get just slaughtered to die yeah like die <laughs> laser guns. hey his yeah, arm is guns. a cannon 
Yeah, they brought they brought guns to a baseball game. Yeah. You know. Um yeah, I I feel like the predictable way this episode could go, and it still might, mm-hmm. is just us talking about how much better baseball would be if this were baseball. And that's really hackneyed. Uh and I like a baseball video game. You know, I don't have hate in my heart for baseball as a sport. It's mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. It's like boring, it's pretty boring to watch. Boring to watch on TV. But you know, yeah, pretty, pretty lame to watch on TV. But if you're there, it's like I'll hang out and drink a beer mm-hmm. for ten, yeah. twelve dollars or something. I don't give a I'll, shit. I'll get a little sunburn. I'll you know, yeah. I'll cheer. That's that's a okay. Oh, yeah, yeah base, baseball games are fun. I like like even yeah. like modern baseball games. Like I picked up uh, Super Mega Baseball three on the on the Switch. Mm-hmm. It's fun as shit. <laughs> yeah, that's real fun. Yeah, like uh, so I I'm into that kind of thing. Uh, in real life, pretty neutral towards baseball, but giving it more like it is a real bummer that extreme sports have just evolved into like. What if two people tried to kill each other? <laughs> like, what if we did crotch based chokeholds where, like, not washing your dick is a legit strategy? And I'm not joking about that. Wait, wait that's what? what we have for extreme sports. Hey, hey Gary, thing in UFC, pump, pump the brakes like, here. Uh, can, can you give me a little more yeah. context? <laughs> in UFC, and I, I read this on a forum, okay. so it has forum, so you can tell it's true. Okay. Uh, they talked about how, it, like, because they oftentimes do like crotch locks. Like, a lot of UFC moves are get this this other person's face, like, directly in front of my dick and hold it there. Okay. And uh, a strategy is to be real funky down there because it makes it harder to breathe. Okay. And it's, like, psychological warfare. And that is what we have instead of extreme sports. We never got, like, robots fighting. When we did, it was incredibly lame. Mm-hmm. And instead, we have just what if people punched and kicked each other and sometimes put their dirty-ass dicks in each other's face. Yeah. Like it sucks. Like we didn't we didn't get fun extreme sports. We got UFC, which is horse shit, mm-hmm. and then we got uh battle bots, which is also horse shit. Never yes. the twain shall meet. Yeah. Well we're like there's no spectacle to the actual yeah. to the actual contest itself. Yes. Is 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 yeah. is the thing. Um I've never like I've never seen a UFC fight that didn't just turn into two guys hugging on the ground, which and guys can yeah. hug. I'm 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 a hugger. Uh, but I just don't uh, like it, it's it, it's a spectrum where it's either that or it's that YouTube clip that sometimes people post of somebody just stomping through another person's shin bone. Yeah. 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 I, I hate that shit. Yeah. Like, I, I, I cannot imagine why one would watch. Well, but I mean, like, it, it definitely like, I don't know if given the choice between watching UFC and watching pro wrestling shit, man, I'd probably watch pro wrestling. <laughs> Oh, totally. Like, <laughs> like I'm not going like, to watch. I'll show up for the pageantry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I won't watch either, you know, in right, a general right. sense. Yeah. But I, if I was going to watch one, I'd rather have people fake hurt each other than really try to hurt each other. I'm just, I'm trying to put myself in a, in a headspace where I could function tactically with, 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 a, with, a, with a rotten crotch. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, I'm pretty I'm very tu- aware of it. I'm, I'm pretty tuned in. And like, if I don't wake up and take a shower immediately every day, I don't feel like the the, the kind of person that, that that I need to be. I don't feel like I can attack mm-hmm. this, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, just uh, yeah, constant, constantly aware of it. Uh, so I don't know. For, for for me, I don't know that the value of an enhanced crotch lock like that would would give me the edge or would be a net edge over you know, the sense of well-being and balance that I would have from, you know, washing myself. Well, this is why your crotch lock will never ascend to the next level. Well, maybe you still got to chump with your crotch lock. (laughs) There are other strategies. (laughs) (laughs) How do you figure? Um, Every time I've ever seen UFC, it is literally just how fast can I get this other person's face into my dick. And I'm not trying to say that in a homophobic way. It's just amazing how often it turns into just like, like, Face like like the jockey from Left for Dead. Mm-hmm. Like, well, but like so. I, like, I just I wish that there was a uh, you know, again a wish. Just take UFC and make it like hockey fights. You know, yeah. like if it, if it go, if it goes to the go, goes down to the ice, stop. No, okay, it's got to yeah. be you know it's got to be pulling somebody's jersey over their head and pummeling them in the in the stomach. You know, I I, I think I would just ditch the whole thing if it were me. <sighs> Yeah. Like, what if these guys played Mario Kart <laughs> instead or something? You know, I, I just don't know. I have no respect for the sport. No. Well, and, and uh, also, I'm not like, saying it doesn't require athleticism. Like, it's, it's, right, right. it's, uh, it requires skill and strength to punch one another. Mm-hmm. And to be punched. But it doesn't mean I have, and to be punched doesn't mean I have to respect it. No, no. You know? Well, especially when the organization's as fucking rotten as it is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and there's also just something baseline, like, extremely uncivilized feeling about, like, 
a bunch of people getting together in a buffalo. (laughs) Yeah, like a bunch of people getting together in a buffalo wild wings to watch a kumite. (laughs) Like it just doesn't it doesn't feel like we should be there, you know, in twenty twenty. Like it feels like that should have gotten less popular, not more popular. (laughs) You know? Yeah. So yeah. Jeez. Uh, but this is baseball where the robots eventually sometimes kumite, but they fight like paper dolls on popsicle sticks. Yes. Like it just like, what if you just kind of move them on top of each other to do hits? Yeah. Uh, as opposed to doing like fighting moves or whatever. Yeah. Some of them have like different, uh, uh, different little skills. You know, some of them have like a, uh, like little, little laser gun. Some of them like to have like a little swing, but mostly it is about maneuvering and stun locking your enemy. Um, yeah. And like this, this happens basically whenever there's a force out to determine whether it's, yes. you know, going to, uh, determine who, whose team it's going to break in favor of. Um, yes. I found it really jarring. I, I kind of just wanted to play an NES baseball game. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I wanted to boot up RBI baseball or super baseball 2020, mm-hmm. which is, doesn't have fights. Right. just has a couple like robot accoutrements. Yes. Um, yeah, this, it also changes the rules of baseball fundamentally where catching a ball <sighs> does not make an out. Yeah. That really uh, threw me off. <laughs> yeah. It's real like, Oh wait, they're still going <laughs> like that's not baseball, but they had to change it to make mm-hmm. it a base war. Yeah. So, yeah. The, you know, so, so you would have more instances of, uh, so you'd have more instances of fighting. Yeah. yeah. The only like, there's, so there's something about like fights do happen in baseball, but it's always charging the mound. Yeah. Um, I fucking yeah. love it when they charge the mound, man. <laughs> let, let umpires get into fights and stuff too. Yes. Yeah. I know like coaches come up and like bang bellies with umpires, mm-hmm. you know, and then just like really get each other's crotches in each other's faces. <laughs> just like, <laughs> you know, just snorkel like fucking uh, slapstick, okay. like the, the brother and sister and slapstick, just like, <laughs> you know, get in there and see what it's like, uh-huh. you know? Oh, jeez. Okay, so in this yeah. in this version of the world that you're painting here, does anybody wash yeah. their dick? <laughs> what do you think? Okay. Um, like, it the, just like, uh, sounds like you're about to say, like, oh, yeah, air traffic controllers. They're sitting there. Yeah, yeah. They're constantly getting into fights. Like, the pilot crashes and then comes, <laughs> rushes the air traffic control <laughs> tower because he's mad about the instructions <laughs> he got. And they start bumping bellies. Uh-huh. And then they immediately just... <laughs> You know, just get up in there. And if you want to be a really competitive air traffic controller, uh-huh. you might go for stink dick. <laughs> you know, if you really want to fight off pilots whose who's, uh, crews you've murdered and, uh, you know, passengers you've uh, killed, yeah. slaughtered. <laughs> Uh, but this is, it's a pretty basic baseball game other than that rule change and the, and, and, and the fights and stuff. Yeah. You know, it just, it plays, plays about uh, like you, I, you want I it to. I like the AI was tuned in a way that was frustrating to me where, uh, it felt like they basically automatically caught everything I did. Yeah. Uh, it didn't feel like a particularly good, like well-balanced NES baseball games. And that's a crowded field because mm-hmm. there's a bunch of really good NES baseball. Well, you games. mentioned RBI. Yeah. Like RBI yeah. three is amazing. RBI baseball too. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Three, like uh, those are good. Those are good ass games. Mm-hmm. There are and a bunch this... of bad baseball games as well as Crown Tendo has taught us, but yes. there are a bunch of good ones as well. Yeah. Now. So my problem was when I was playing as a fielder, you know, I was playing defense, um, and like the, the camera was zoomed in too closely as it mm-hmm. followed the ball. And I had no idea where my guy was going to be, um, until it was like almost way too late to make the adjustment to try and get under it. Um, yeah. you know, it's like green, 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 green. Okay. Here's your dude react a split second. Ah, uh, you missed it. Um, yeah, it was very difficult to play defense. Yeah. Um, and, you know, additionally, like there was really no way to tell what kind of what kind of pitch was going to come at you. I just kind of like, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's baseball. Well, yeah. You know, <laughs> you don't, they don't tell you. <laughs> well, they don't signal to you. <laughs> no, but it was yeah. more like uh, it was. It was. It was more like uh, it just. It felt like it. Like the ball moved a little bit too fast towards you. You know. You know. I, to I to make things. a. You know, since this is gonna is gonna be a Gary and Cole talk about sports okay. episode, kind of inherently. Yeah. You know what uh, I think is a straight up improvement of baseball over baseball. Okay. Is uh, baseball with underhand pitch because the most exciting part of baseball is hitting the ball. Yes. And doing things to prevent that sucks. Mm-hmm. Like defense in baseball sucks. Yes. Like fewer hits, fewer bases, lower scores. All of those things are antithetical to baseball being exciting. Mm-hmm. Underhand pitch, lob that shit. Get some dingers and just make it so both teams can do it. You know, like you spend longer a bat, but maybe make it like three innings, mm-hmm. you know? And then you have these like baseball games that score like basketball games where it's like, oh, it's 87 to, to 69, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like, because everyone just like pops some dingers, you know? <laughs> well, what you're describing. way more fun. <laughs> what you're describing, Gary, is a home run. batting cage. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, kind, kind of, kind of. Um, oh gosh, home run derbies. Yeah, which is way like, cooler than baseball. Yeah, home run derbies are amazing. Like, a, like yeah. a home run derby is the same as the slam dunk. It's like a slam dunk slam. You know, like yeah, yeah. yes, let's let's just take the best part of this: the home runs and the slam dunks, the dingers and the dunks. You know what? Yeah. Make, they can both happen on the same field. <laughs> they can happen at the same a, time. A, if if we weren't in the world of gender neutral bath, I mean, this is gender neutral. I'm going to start a restaurant where one of the bathrooms says dingers and one says dunks <laughs> and just see what people do. <laughs> like, and then you're going to be like, which one is the men's room? I'm like, there's yeah. no fucking men's room. Savage. <laughs> like, you it's know, for dingers it's, and dunks. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's for dingers and dunks. Like just choose. <laughs> um, the, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we can, even baseball fans can probably agree that the best and most exciting part of baseball is when the baseball bat hits the titular baseball. Yes. You know, like that's definitely the coolest thing that can happen in a baseball game. Mm -hmm. Like, the, like why you do things to prevent that? I don't fucking get the, I mean, so the most invested that I have ever been in baseball and, mm -hmm. you know, keep in mind, I, I, you know, like grew up in Northern, Northern Ohio and, you know, over the course of 95 and 97, two years when the, when the Cleveland Indians uh, went to the world series, never, never won, but they went to the world series, you know, so you got pretty invested you know, your Jim Tomey, your Albert Bell, your Manny Ramirez, et cetera. Good team. Good memories of following that. Yeah. But the most invested I ever got in baseball was, I think it was the 98 season when it was Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire competing with each other to try and hit the most, uh, to try and break the records for uh, for the home dingers. runs. Yeah, for dingers. Yeah, the, yeah the, the, the dinger records. I think McGuire ended up winning, but then his career went down the tubes because of steroids. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, the secret ingredient. Yes. Yeah. You know, the di the dinger juice. Yes. Just slurping on dinger juice. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It was it was it was it was ninety eight. It was the uh, the the home run record chase. I just, I follow that shit like crazy, man. Yeah, it's you know you can all it takes to the secret ingredient in getting in sports is caring which which, which team wins. <laughs> as soon as that yeah. happens, like you're invested, and it's like oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I, I talked about that Left for Dead tournament I watched. Mm -hmm which me and Riff are going to do a duck feed presents because he's gotten into competitive play through watching link to the past randomizer races. Oh, nice. And, uh, we're going to be like, Oh, we don't like sports, but now we have teams of things that we like. Yeah. How that happened. <laughs> uh, and talk about that for a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it was the same kind of thing where it's like, I would choose arbitrarily, but then once you chose, I'm like, Oh yeah. Like, you know, I really want pink slip to win. Yeah. You know? And it's just like, Hey, I'm in this. And they're like, Oh, they're behind. Maybe they can bring it back. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. you know, that was a good play. Like it, it just contextualizes everything. And that's, you know, without that context, without any kind of stakes, it's like, who gives it, you know, it just, it's, it's just a bunch, bunch of numbers people, happening. Yeah. Just, yeah. Numbers happening, people doing actions, you know, mm -hmm. like, Oh, this guy's running, this guy caught something. Like it doesn't have any context without right, care, right. You know, caring about the outcome. Yeah. And like for a good number of people, geography is enough, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's I mean that's basically all of it. It's just yeah. weird partisan like well, home team mess. Well, except for like just whatever. Uh, and yeah, you know, I, I was going to describe people. I, I do not like when somebody who lives elsewhere is just a really really big like I don't know like Yankees or Dallas Cowboys fan. Yeah, the it Patriots. Like an yeah, it's kind of like oh, what's your what's your favorite what's your favorite basketball team? Mm, Golden State Warriors. Dog, you live yeah. in. You live in <laughs> You live yeah. in Kansas, you chose man. Them because they win a lot. Yeah. Or did you used to live there? <laughs> like one of those is an acceptable answer and one of them isn't. Yeah. Like you when know, I was... it's like your home team, you know, that's <laughs> fine. It's like, you know, you moved and it's like, okay, like I moved from Illinois and like, if I cared about this kind of shit, I'm like, oh yeah, I like the Cubs, mm -hmm. you know, because I, and I don't care about the, you know, the, the Portland <laughs> recyclers or whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, and the, uh, but it, it's a, I don't, I don't care about that, but that would make more sense. That would be okay. If I moved here as a Cubs fan. Yes. You know. Yeah, you can be you can right. be a transplant and that is the, the that is fine. But like I don't know. Growing up I liked hockey and because they were the closest team, I liked the Red Wings. The Red Wings were the were the you know, the New York Yankees of, of, of hockey. But the second mm -hmm. we got the Columbus Blue Jackets, I switched over to liking them more because they're closer. Yeah. Yeah, they're close. Also, also like, they're like you, the Ranger dogs. Well, yeah. Yeah, pick something. Yeah. You know, it's, it still like requires a lot of dissonance for me. Like it's still <clears throat> sideways, like a sideways fit Yeah, for me to like trick myself into enjoying sports. And I mm -hmm. think that, you know, in just unintentional modern time side effects, way more biased against Mortal Kombat lore <laughs> and uh, way just like 
any enjoyment in a, in a storm. Mm-hmm. Like if I can find a way to trick myself into en- wait, enjoying something, holy shit. <laughs> like I got to get in on that. Well, <laughs> so I, so I think one of the un- one of the unspoken things is that um for a lot of people uh what sufficed for them uh, as a kid, I think, maybe the that tribalism or that regionalism or whatever fades away and so they so they slowly replace that with either uh that, that enthusiasm with either um gambling or fantasy league stuff yeah and, the, and that's and, a game and, like i get and that, that is that's, yeah yeah that, like that yeah, that, that is D&D. their their way of giving themselves stake or giving themselves something to hang exactly you know, to hang their, like they have to create it yeah. artificially because they recognize that the borders between states and stuff are basically arbitrary. yeah yeah like once you once you move around a little bit you realize like ah, oh, there's just like good bad people everywhere it doesn't really right, much. Right. like there are regional cultures but mm-hmm. it's not as you know it's not as alien as maybe we're led to believe yeah yeah um i have a life update <laughs> okay uh, in 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 a way uh so we all know about frankenstein right okay frankenstein <clears throat> give us a quick update because it's been a very long time and there may be new listeners who, who are not aware of what frankenstein is uh it's a mustang with frankenstein written on the side in duct tape it's really that- loud it's very loud. It used to do like loud pipes, save lives, uh, shit in the high school parking lot across the street from me yeah. or the parking lot across the street from me that is adjacent to a high school, like soccer field. Mm-hmm. Um, the last several mornings all around 11 AM, I haven't heard Frank in a while and I assumed COVID got him. Right. Cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Or just he's inside, you know, he's not joyriding because of COVID. Yeah. I have heard, uh, a honest to goodness, extremely loud, repeatedly played La Cucaracha car horn. <gasps> so like Frankenstein Stang has like a new partner in crime because now there's like <sighs> like around eleven o'clock every morning for the last four days. So okay, let me clarify. This is not the fact so this is not Frankenstein getting a novelty car horn i don't think so it's coming from the same location that's where the frankenstein association comes from okay and the idea of this being a monster squad <laughs> uh, to me is appealing <laughs> to me okay yeah you um know? like this is this is the el chupacabra <laughs> you know el, el, el chupa you know so something like that el, like, el chupa camry el chupa, yeah el chupa camry <laughs> You know, a chupacabacura, you know, or something like that, like over there. So I like the idea of associating them, but somebody is playing an incredibly loud novelty <laughs> horn. Well, yeah, car horns are loud. Morning. They're meant to get people's attention so you don't run them over. But it's far away. It's not like, <laughs> like I'm in the third floor in an apartment with a large, like a lengthy courtyard, yeah. a street, and then like most of a parking lot between me and this. Mm-hmm. Like it's very, and, and I live like cro- close to a major street. I never hear cars from that. Okay. You know, like it, this has to be much louder <laughs> than the average horn. Yeah. Huh. So it's either a monster squad thing or we've got El Chupa Camry running in and trying to cover, trying to claim some turf. Now that Frankenstein. Yeah. Frankenstein's off the COVID scene. Reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Like this is his turf. Like, hey, this is my riverbank, mm-hmm. you know, or wherever Frankenstein's hang out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like. I hope Frankenstein's uh, Okay. Know. I, I, you know, I don't I, I'm like that guy. He's, 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 like, he's, 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 he's uh, he has awakened you many times. Yeah. He's really obnoxious. He awakened me, interrupts recording. Like mm-hmm. I don't want him to actually have COVID, but if he like stayed home because of COVID oh. good. And if he moved like, that'd be great. If so, so if, if staying in caused him to do some self-reflection, you think that sure. would be, yeah. That'd be or like he want. lost his job and he had to sell the Frankenstein. Oh man! You know, basically, I mean, I don't want to encourage job loss. I just don't want to hear the Frankenstein anymore, by yeah. hook or by crook. For 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 you, what's but, important is the is the result. But there's a there's a little bit of like Avon Barksdale, uh, you know, uh, like the getting rid of the principled criminal and getting the unprincipled criminal in. Yes, with El Chupa Camry because the the Frankenstein that was annoying, but it was just a car sound, mm-hmm. and this is very loud and it's a catchy melody. <laughs> so I don't, I don't feel like it's an upgrade. I feel like it's like, bah, 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 yeah, bah, 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 uh, is also obnoxious. And I just want to do a quick blinker over this. There's no racial undertones to me, not liking no. a car loudly honking that and waking me up. Yeah. No, uh, it, it, I don't it, it feel could like, be like a... I have to respect it because it, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, a, a, a Mexican jingle. Right. I don't feel like I need, like, this is it, a cultural thing I need to respect. I think it, it is it would, just a public nuisance. Yeah. It would be equally as annoying if it was like a chicken dance horn, you know? Totally. Chicken dance horn or like March of the Volga boatman. 
you know? Okay. <laughs> I, bah, might bah, actually, bah, bah. I might actually be really into the March of the Mogul. I, w- I would want to know more about it. Like, oh, the Baba Yaga. <laughs> the Baba Yara. The Baba Yarza, whatever. The Baba Yars. <laughs> Yars, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't really want to know about that that person. But this could be any song and it would still be obnoxious. Right. Like, I think that there's a plausible deniability to Frankenstein because it feels like he's just revving. Uh-huh. But, like, maybe he's, you know, that's what he does before he leaves. There's and mul- it's just annoying to me. <laughs> so, like, Fra- Frankenstein probably just had a very loud car and decided to lean into it and, you know, and, and paint that on the side or whatever. You can drive yeah. a loud car quiet, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. But, you know. Or you could conceivably just have a loud car and it's like, this is the quietest car I can afford. Right, right. You know? But, like, but there, there are multiple horn steps. Is an act. There are so many people involved in getting a horn put into your put into your car. Mm-hmm. There are, like, invoices that, you know, that, are, that are there. Like, you have to There's take a paper it. trail. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're, you're writing <laughs> checks to get yeah. a horn that does that. Yeah. Yeah. When people have that kind of novelty horn, does it replace their horn or do they have a separate button? I like the idea that there's just a flip up panel on their dashboard and they're picking there has a mood. To be because if you're like, if you actually have to get somebody's attention because of an accident or something, you can't play fucking the Cucaracha. Right. The Cucaracha. You know, like, like, oh, like I have to warn somebody, like a, a car is coming and it has logs and one of the logs is going to fall mm-hmm. out and I have to start laying out my horn. And you just start <laughs> and just start laying on that. You're not warning anybody of anything other than that you're in the mood for a good time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like you're well, warning everybody that you know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, boy, we got a party car. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. You know, you're not you're not like going to save any lives with that thing. No, no, and also like there's no there's no straight up just like communication that happens. You know, you come up behind a car, they don't notice that the red turned green. You know, sometimes you got to give them a little bump up. You know, not a yeah, yeah. not a loud one. You're not trying to like yeah, move it. You're yeah, like, but you're just like you know, you're just like hey, up. just so you like, just I know you're probably you're probably but you can't like hey, do a heads up Lacuca No, you know? no. Um, what I'm seeing when I go and look up, uh, look up a few of these, it's like a, it's like a kit that is put inside and there's like a little remote kind of, kind of button oh. array. Uh, I gotta that, get that, that remote. On it. <laughs> if you go to Universal. I gotta get that remote and turn the tables. <laughs> like I gotta start doing it to him when he's at home. <laughs> I will, I will teach you what pain just is. Just walking the city, just tapping the button and listening yeah. to the sweet, sweet summer sounds of the Kukaraka. <laughs> Yeah, no, just uh, the the novelty, the obnoxious novelty car horn is a choice. Yeah, you yeah. know, and it's just it, you know, that high school, you know, that soccer field parking lot across the street, like it just like kids, and then these fucking teens. Yeah, you know, teens are their own thing. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go from Gran Turismo to Gran Torino on them. <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the, uh, I'm not gonna do that. No, it's a song about a racist or songwriter. Mm-hmm. A movie about a racist songwriter. Yep. Um, that guy's still alive, right? Eastwood. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He he recently celebrated okay. a birthday, actually. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, good director. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else with a uh, Cyber Stadium? There's a <sighs> Casket Dark Fire review. Yeah, but it's pretty it's standard. Real yeah. Yeah. Just uh, just you know, usual. Yeah. I don't know why Casket Dark Fire isn't doing it for me anymore. Yeah. Well, we I think we've just exhausted it. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think there'd be something wrong with us if we were like had an unlimited appetite for Casket Darkfire. So that's the thing. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was just like, you know, tired Casket Darkfire, wired Grammatical King, you know? Yeah. And even then, like, you know, at some point we'll have to find a new yep, new thing. Well, that's why we're always looking. Um, yeah. Yep. But always like, searching. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know, it's got like, a you know, medium good reviews. It's a, it's a passable Passable baseball game, although playing this did make I just I put it down and then launched RBI into the three inning game before we started yeah. recording because RBI is really good. Yeah, yeah. it's just it, it's a <clears> thing <throat> where it's uh, you know, if if uh, any port in a storm, mm-hmm. you know, you could you could get down with us. Yeah, um, if you have other baseball options, there are other baseball options. Yes, um, on the message board, there's somebody named uh, Shadowin who's who uh, who has a uh, topic here. Uh, the last post was on my birthday. Uh, I was mm. 28 at the time. I am old oh. now. No. <laughs> <laughs> and that was on. Yeah, that was on uh, 20, 2019 is when that post happened. Yeah. Uh, so that's so, pretty. Wild. So he's a skeleton covered in dust now. <laughs> yeah, by the by the ripe old age of twenty nine. Yeah. Or whatever. Or or anything. So mm-hmm. the last post was on his birthday and he was twenty eight. The most recent post before that was twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. So this guy is now thirty one. Maybe. 
Did you say I was 28? Oh, I was 28 at the time. I am old now. Yeah. So we crossed 30. Yeah. So the gem in his hand is starting to glow. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what he's feeling is that 30 year old vibe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm turning 40 uh, in just, you know, three months. Yeah. And that's the age where you start going to the doctor and they start putting things in your butt. Mm. So I'm going to start uh, just if everybody liked vasectomy story, just wait for sigmoidoscopy <laughs> story for whatever live event that gets. Through that, you know, that one gets. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, that'll be cool. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I, just, I mean, like, uh, uh, so just to set to, you know, to set your expectation at the start there, Gary, for what you should feel like sharing. <laughs> if the story is just that was uncomfortable. <laughs> um yeah. i just that's that that's not that's not a, a good story i just i, I kind of maybe could surmise that <laughs> I, I feel like i i've got the storytelling chops to, okay. to okay. get more out of that than it was uncomfortable <laughs> you know i don't i don't feel like it's immature of me to to think that there is something wild and novel about going to like a place you pay a monthly fee to for a guy to like put his finger up your butt or a lady to put his finger, her finger up your butt. Like, I think that's, I think that's weird. Mm-hmm. I'm not over it. Mm-hmm. You know, I get like, oh, it's a medical thing. They do it all the time. No, no, it's still weird. All medical stuff's fucking weird. And yeah. we should start questioning it more. Well, Let's it, normalize it. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, you know, and uh, like, it just, so yes, I, I, I uh, am, am also, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm further away from the prostate thing than you are, but it's, uh, you know, mm-hmm. l- l- God willing, if I'm, for, if I'm lucky enough, I will, I will live to reach, to reach that, uh, reach that point. The prostate age. You know? Yeah. 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 But then I think like, okay, every, you know, every guy, you know, talks about, they're sharing war stories about it, but like, I don't know. Women every year they go to a doctor and they got to get looked up in. So yeah, they get that look up in. Yeah, so I don't know. You know, just another another if there was case a woman, where I would be sharing uh... war stories about that as well. <laughs> I think is the nature of me that if a stranger they, yeah. puts their hand inside me, it is a noteworthy event. Yeah, regardless yeah. of the context. Yeah, anytime there's like a that is not something that I'm allowing to be normalized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember when so Brad Garrett is... got a prostate exam on live television? No, what? Yeah, there, there was some, there was some kind of there was some kind of television. Uh, it was like a mm. it, it, <laughs> okay. So it was a uh, it, it was a telethon event raising money for like prostate cancer or something like that. And so, oh, celebrity prostate exams too much reality <laughs> TV. Two thousand eight. Um, yeah, How did I missed this. <laughs> and so Brad Gar- <laughs> and so Brad Raymond, Garrett goes out, happening. and he's he's in he's in a hospital Raymond. gown. He's on a stage, like in you know, like in the L.A. theater or whatever, wherever this is being filmed. And you know, he he, he 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 is, he assumes the position, and on live television, you you don't see anything, but the doctor gives him the digit. Um, and sure. see, like the, the hostess holds the microphone up, up next to him and says, you know, so like, how does it feel? And, and Brad Garrett, I can't do the voice like you can, but Brad Garrett says, it feels like my career is over. And everybody laughed. Uh, <laughs> it, was the, it was the grimmest fun. thing. <laughs> that, that's, that's extremely grim. It's not on YouTube for some reason. <laughs> uh, even though when I did the first time I typed it in, cool. yeah. and this is going to sound like a lie, but it's not, <laughs> I actually wrote Brad Garrett prostate extreme. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like an annual event in some small town. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's a good time to end the episode. Okay. My groceries are here. Okay. <laughs> the, the the prostate alarm has gone off. I got a lit, lit All right. grocery guy. Cool. All right. Well, I'll end yeah. the episode, Gary. Go get your stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, he's he's coming to my door. He's gonna leave it outside my door. Contactless gotcha, gotcha. baby. Oh, so yeah. I just need yeah. to put away groceries here in a minute. So oh, okay. Um uh, whom, uh, remind me whom requested this? Uh, this was it? our patron, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Really do appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Appreciate you. Um, if you would like to patronize us, if you would like to, uh, give us a, uh, you know, patronize an episode, support your boys, get a bunch of bonus episodes, go to patreon.com slash duck feed TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a bunch of extra content and, uh, you help us out greatly. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And uh, you can also leave us ratings and reviews on Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, we would appreciate that. Yeah. Hey, Demon Souls remake uh, confirmed. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Um, during this thing, fuck. Okay, looks I, like uh, I got to go watch that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's just it's uh, just graphics. Like I don't think it's going to be anything additional, but it looks real good. Yeah, no, I mean, great. I mean, just get, get, get rescue that shit from the PS3. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, and until next time, goal. 
What um, is the sign off? <laughs> until next time. Uh, drum roll, please. Until next time. Don't forget to spank that sub button. Mm-hmm.